You can minister death or you can minister life. You cannot minister them both in the same place. That's, that's two kinds of water coming out of the same fountain. You cannot decide I'm going to go bust them good and then give them grace. It doesn't work that way. You can't do yes, yes, no, no. But here right at the end, let's pop out three verses of amazing grace. And so then you can have the grace of God. I know we tried that for a long, long time. And it's why we're, we're struggling in the church to this day Amen. with religion and with mindsets in which we're not free and we don't have liberty. It's also why we have a misunderstanding of the ministry of the Holy Spirit, which according to column B is more glorious than anything you could have ever had under that first covenant. What makes it more glorious? Not your emotional response to it. Because if you get tripped up with emotional response, you're always going to be a slave to your emotions. You're going to go to church and have to have somebody tickle that emotion. You're going to need to hear that song. You're going to need to hear that sermon. You're going to need to hear that style. And somebody has dominated your faith and replaced it with emotion. You're a drug addict. You're a junkie. You're a junkie for, for, for goose pimples and emotion and feelings. But you're not being followed by the Holy Spirit. You're simply being led around by the nose of emotion. And if they get up and play your song in double time, you'll get fired up and run and call it the Holy Ghost. And the reality is, is none of it's the Holy Spirit. It's just somebody found your song. I know what I'm talking about, man. I'd be in the church leading praise and worship. I was a praise and worship leader, and it's dead and dry. Nobody's getting into it. And I'd think, well, I know what song they'll like. Anybody else? I know what song I'll do it for. And I'd look over and go, give me, a, give me a G chord, you know, whatever. And then we just crank into it. And you go, here it comes. You know, it's like a train coming. Here comes the Holy Ghost. It wasn't the Holy Ghost. We were a bunch of junkies to our emotions. We didn't know how to just calm down and listen to the Holy Ghost. We had to have the glory that fades. We'd rather have the glory that fades than the glory that stays. Because at least the glory that fades, we could make it happen. We could, we could crank that thing up, then jump on and go for the ride. Yeah, it was always going to come to a crash and burn ending, but we loved the joy of going there. We were spiritual heroin addicts. I mean, we're going to end up with nothing tomorrow and have to have another revival. But we'd rather have the glory that fades than to wait on the glory that stays. And now in grace, we've seen the glory that doesn't fade, that Christ in me never gets old. Amen. That he's real. Verse 9. Let's add to our columns. Verse 9. If the ministry of condemnation had glory, then the ministry of righteousness exceeds much more in glory. Now, not only have we added to our columns the ministry of condemnation and the ministry of righteousness, we've made correlation in our columns. What are in our columns so far? The ministry of death, written and engraved on stones, can also be called the ministry of condemnation. The ministry of the Spirit, which is more glorious, is also called the ministry of righteousness. So the, whatever's written and engraved on the stones can only minister death and condemnation. Whatever is written on the epistle of your heart Remember, that was where this got started, back in 1, 2, and 3 of chapter 3. Whatever's been written on the epistle of your heart by the Holy Ghost, he's the only one that can write on your heart. Amen. That's the ministry of the Holy Spirit, consequently, who only knows how to minister righteousness. Amen. The Holy Spirit is on the column of righteousness. The law is on the column of condemnation. Amen. This is why... It was glorious for the hellfire and brimstone condemnation preaching. Because it fell on the side of the glory that fades. And there was a glory that was fading in the constant repetition of death and condemnation. But if you're going to minister the Holy Spirit, you're going to have to make a choice. You're going to have to abandon death and condemnation you're forced because the moment you cross that line between those columns